All right, guys, heads up. Concentrate. Quarterbacks, you got the opportunity, guys, to be able, literally to be able to win this game by making plays with your arm, with your legs, and mostly with your head. Make sure you do that. I return, guys. I think you guys have done a great job catching the ball. All you need is to block somebody out of the lane. You've got a chance to be able to break one. Tonight, the gloves are off. We're going to hit, we're going to be aggressive, but we're going to hit people. No cheap shots, keep your poise, but be aggressive, be physical to the ball. Defensive line, push that pocket back, react and respond. Linebackers, secondary. The ball's coming your way, it's an opportunity to turn the game around. If you make that interception, you're focused like you never had before, think about turning that into a score. Running backs, don't get too fancy. Make your cut and explode and go. Guys, the running plays for us are not soft zones. Jersey Jack. We run that, we're not soft on that tackle, we attack that tackle. We want that perimeter, we want that corner. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy I know it's more than just football for him. I know he cares about us as a team. You know, he knows everybody on a first name basis and that's tough to do in just a few weeks of being here, you know what I mean? And he already, he knows everyone. What do you feel really pretty good? Um, I feel really good at 48 yard, and it's a 30 yard line. 30 yard line, okay. Good luck, Matt. Good luck, Coach. Good luck, Jeff. Focus now, guys. Focus now. We got offense, guys. Good pressure that time. So ever since I got a chance to talk to him the first time we got, uh, we were on the phone, it's been more so of a um, uh, brotherly like situation. His walks through life or his walks through life. He's a man just like I am, so I respect him that way. Hey, Kevin, Robert, up in the box, you see where that penetration was? When you were yelling, punt, block, punt, block, punt, block, that's, everybody hears that. They hear it, you know, I'm sure we're telling, you know what I mean? I mean, the call should be like rain and lightning as opposed to punt, block. First down. Come on, guys. You want to get short out of there? Are they doing anything special when the fullback comes in? strong point of Joe's is to be able to delegate things and, and have people concentrate on what's important. He's a guy that tries to bring in as many people as he can that are quality people and experts. Kind of keeps the peace, so, if you will, so I think Joe's done that in the business world. He knows how to do that, so I mean, he's doing a great job, and that's really all you got to have to be a head coach. Rogers on up! Let's go! When you talk about being a coach, you know, you, you have to be able to be organized, you have to be competitive, you have to manage. He can do all those things. I think he'd run a heck of a program. If anybody screws up even the, the first part of that, there's three things they have to memorize, something you're hopefully not going to be using that much, but when you have to use it, you have to use it. That attack is going to, especially with our tempo, is going to have, is going to have a significant impact on them. Joe Mowley would be a great coach for the simple fact that he's, he's a people person. you got to bring all types of backgrounds together and mesh them into one unit to have a great team. There's an issue with something you, you, haven't been, you haven't been sharp with, you get it sharp. You really got to get that out of your game. Obviously you want to win football games, but our main job is to prepare the kids who come to play in this program for life after football. And he's added great to it. Don't just depend on a coach to tell you. I mean, basically it's game time. One, two, three! No! No! First of all, being a head coach is leading people. He's proven that. He can motivate people. He can take them beyond what they think they can be. You know, that kind of thing. That to me is what a head coach is all about. You do a simple Google search and you realize that, that the shadow he casts is fairly large and to be able to work with him on a daily basis and learn from him organizational skills, leadership skills. Every day you learn something new. I ask him more or less to be a mentor with me after football. This is more or less uh, speaking towards life and just, you know, saying being a man, accepting the responsibility of all your actions and dealing with the consequences of your choices. Being able to identify that pushes me a little harder. Just my standard to want to succeed more, not only for myself, but for him and for other guys. I'm going to ask for all your attention on this. We've talked about our entire program is about being a man. There are qualities that go into being a man that we're going to talk about over the span of the season. I think the most important quality in terms of being a man is, is love. And I would define love as the commitment to the well-being of others. Merrill Lynch was 100 yards from the World Trade Center. Two of my kids were working for Merrill Lynch. I'm watching everything take place that morning. 
I watched the towers go down. It was such a very, very, very real possibility that I had lost my son that day. And one of the things that gave me peace, that there was honest to God, nothing, nothing that I would have wanted to tell Kevin in his life that I hadn't already told him. Around six o'clock that day, I get a phone call and says, Dad, this is Kevin. I use those as the examples of what love really means. So for us, what does that mean as a team? A real man understands what it is to be committed to the well-being of another. Care about the people around you. It's about being a man. See you guys tomorrow.